we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Welcome to my first week in my life in our new house. This is literally like my first full day here without people here helping us move. So I'm bringing you guys along. You guys are going to join me. So today is Monday and I actually just left off our last vlog last night, our moving vlog, and we're picking it right back up. So if you just watched that video, then this is like the very next day. We've already had a crazy morning, of course. Right as I woke up, I wake up and Sam's on his phone. He's like, Jacqueline, I found a fridge. Let's just buy it it can be here next week and I was like uh and it had like two freezer doors which is what we didn't want but it's pretty much all that's available so you know what we're just gonna take it supply chain is crazy right now so you really can't be picky but I tell you that because I left off the last vlog with us being like well the company just told us we don't have a fridge anymore when they were telling us oh you don't have one well we'll get you one next week and then they were like actually we can't even order one we switched over we bought it from Best Buy and hopefully it comes so yeah the food situation is going to be interesting this week I don't know what we're doing but today is a pretty busy day so Sam is at work right now I am here um, working I've just been editing all morning it's actually like towards the afternoon I need to get lunch going and Sam is gonna stop by the apartment on his way home and grab all of our clothes because we have been living in the same two outfits because we had planned on having our clothes here two days ago but the closet got delayed which means like all of our clothes were still in our apartment so I've been wearing the same outfit for the past couple of days but honestly I can't complain because the clothes I brought were very comfy so I'm very happy about it but today we are going to get the clothes back from the apartment we're gonna go to Ikea we've got a lot of stuff to do I'm grabbing dinner with a friend tonight Sorry, my card was full, so I just moved the camera, but I think I was just saying that that is my plan for today, and then our goal this week, like what you're going to be seeing is just us finishing up this place. There's still so many boxes and things that need to be put away, and we're also continuing our daily lives of working and things like that, so we're just going to bring you guys along in our first week in this house. And then I also forgot to mention, but today I need to run to the store because we have no water here. So I'm very thirsty and I need to get going on that. I need to grab some things that aren't perishable so we can just keep them in the pantry and eat them while we don't have a fridge. But before we go to the store, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Avail. So if you don't know what Avail is, it's actually a really cool car sharing service that allows car owners to connect with drivers looking to borrow a car. So this is great because if you are a car owner, you can make money while you're not using your car and if you're the borrower, you actually get reliable and affordable vehicles. Avail provides car sharing services at airports in places like Atlanta, Austin, Baltimore, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, Houston, Los Angeles, Miami, Philadelphia, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Orlando, and Charlotte. Avail is super easy and straightforward with their app, unlike the traditional car renting services. And my favorite part is that there's no additional fee for being under 25. You just have to be 18 with a valid license. So you're probably wondering how to use it. And let me tell you, it is actually so easy. So all you have to do is sign up with a valid driver's license, or you can register your car on Avail and they will handle the rest, which is super nice. And every trip is covered by Allstate Insurance. So you and your car will always be protected. I I definitely wish I would have known about Avail a few months ago because me and Sam love to travel and honestly renting cars can be a really big hassle especially because we're under 25 so we cannot wait to use Avail whenever we travel next it will be so convenient so if you guys want to check out Avail you can use my link in the description box you can also check out their app they also gave me a great code for you guys you guys can use the code Jacqueline 50 and this will get you $50 off your first booking which is great the offer ends at the end of January so definitely use it while you can I'll have everything you need to know Link down below and thank you again to Avail for sponsoring today's video. So we are gonna get going and I'm gonna run to the store really quick and just grab all the necessities for today. <laughs> grocery store I'm gonna show you guys what I got not because I think you should buy it but just because I think it's humorous 
So we got bread because we have a toaster, so that will work. I ran into an issue because not only do we not have a fridge, we also don't have a microwave. So we only have a stove top. Um, so I got things that I could also like heat up on the stove. We got chips because you need a snack, so the essentials, bananas, and I got sushi for lunch today. I got oatmeal, some creamer that doesn't need to be refrigerated, which is slightly concerning. Two cans of soup, Easy Mac. Fun fact, I used to eat this every day for lunch in high school. I got some more ramen. They didn't have chicken, so I got soy sauce. Sam likes tuna, so I got tuna. And then this, because this was the only form of jelly that didn't say refrigerate after opening. This was a very interesting trip to the grocery store. And then I got two giant jugs of water because they're a lot cheaper than water bottles and we have like refillable bottles so i got some of those for us to have that's my grocery haul it's quite funny but now i'm gonna eat my sushi and continue working a little bit So it is Tuesday. I've had a pretty busy morning. I've just been taking my time getting things done. I did some Instagram stories and I just ran to our friend's house. I didn't run, I drove, but to go pick up some things that we had shipped there because we were like in between addresses. I'm eating a verb bar right now. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna show you guys, I guess what we've done with the house because I feel like I haven't given you guys an overview of what I'm gonna be doing this week. We pretty much finished the guest bathroom for the most part. This room is still a little bit of a mess, but I kind of got an office set up here. And then the guest bedroom is still the same. We put all of our jeans here because Sam finished our closet yesterday and put the clothes up, but he forgot the S hooks that hold our jeans and we're gonna put them here. But we've run into a dilemma because we don't have that much room. And we went to Ikea yesterday and we want to put a dresser here, which is why there's plenty of space to like pull the drawers out. But now we're thinking we won't have enough hanging room in here because it's almost full. So we don't know what to do about this. You saw that we went to Ikea yesterday and they had nothing. They said they had items in stock, but then they actually didn't. Supply chain right now is just so messed up. So we're trying to figure out like what dresser to get there. And then the dining room, we have no update on this because we don't have a table or chairs. We haven't even bought any because I just don't quite know what to get yet. I have an idea, but I don't want to order anything just yet. That's the update of the house. We've just been sitting here, both kind of working. I think our friends are going to come over tonight for dinner. Um, we're trying to like plan and see what will happen because we had our bed frame delivered to their house. So they're going to bring it over for us. So yeah, today I'm just doing some like admin stuff on my computer. Nothing super special. So you might have noticed we changed for like a split second because I had to take a thumbnail for one of my videos that will be live by the time you see this one. Um, I think it will be my last video. A lot of the times you gotta do stuff like that when being in this business. But I'm going to make lunch now with all of our amazing food. 
<laughs> so I did not listen to Sam or I misunderstood. I'm not sure what happened because in my mind I was convinced we were getting the fridge next week, but we're getting it tomorrow. So I did not need to buy all that stuff. We're starting to see a pattern here where Jacqueline doesn't like listening to me and it's really frustrating. Whatever. I don't Our whole marriage has no. been tainted by this. I'm a good listener and you know that. You are. <laughs> I think for lunch I'm gonna make an Easy Mac. I mean, I guess it's good to have this on hand. Like, who doesn't like Easy Mac? It's actually not Easy Mac. Oh. Yeah, it is. Oh, what's Easy Mac? It's just what it used to be called, but then they came out with these things that are originally for the microwave. You're just gonna put hot water in there? Yeah. I'm gonna take some time and try to figure out how in the world we're gonna make this closet work So I'm gonna try to measure like where we could put our shoes if we could put a dresser in here Because our room really doesn't have space for a dresser. So we just don't know what to do So I'm gonna try to measure some things out and see what I can make work It's now dinner time and our friends are actually about to come over. They're gonna bring over a package. So right now I'm actually gonna go pick up our food. I would normally cook for them, but we have no groceries or anything. So we just got like Chinese takeout and hopefully I can get a glimpse of it. I always forget to film, so we'll see what happens. Everybody. I am starting off today in our office that is quite the mess and sorry if you can hear that noise I have my heater going because I get so cold in the mornings I don't know why but then in the afternoon I like want to go turn it down I think it's just with the Sun and stuff so I just made my to-do list for today and it's a little bit busier than I thought the biggest thing today is that we're getting our fridge which I'm so excited for. I did not realize we were getting it today. I thought we were getting it next week. I just definitely heard Sam wrong. I don't know how that happened. And I also have to film some Instagram stories today. I have an appointment at 12. What else am I doing? I have to edit a video. So lots going on, but a lot of fun stuff. I'm really excited. It's Wednesday. And yeah, so I'm gonna get going on some admin work with emails and things like that. And then I'm gonna start editing for the day and I'm gonna edit up until my appointment. Um, that way I can leave the rest of the afternoon to filming my Instagram stories because for some reason those take me so long to do. Okay, I've been sitting here editing and Sam just told me your fridge is here. No, 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 no,
Okay, so we just got our fridge delivered, and through the whole process, we have not known if we should get counter depth or standard depth. And if you don't know the difference, counter depth means that it's like flush with the counter. Standard depth means it sticks out more. And in some kitchens that could work, but in ours it's really obvious. So we went with the smallest standard depth we could find because the counter depth fridge is so small. And it sticks out a good bit, but I don't know if we just need to get used to it. There's like probably more than an inch that we thought it would go back more, but it's blocking it with the cords. We just don't know. I think we can get used to it. You think? Yeah, I do. I think it I just needs enough. time for us to get used to it. I mean, you can't return it, so. I just finished making a video live and I am pausing my work for the day because I've got my appointment that I've got to leave for in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna get my shoes on and just get everything together and head to that. And then I'm gonna come back, film my Instagram stories. And then tonight we're gonna go over to the apartment and get all of our fridge stuff and put it in the fridge now that we have one. I am back and I made some soup really quick I'm going to get ready because I've got to do my Instagram stories and then once I do that I'll probably work on some editing and then we're gonna to go to our apartment tonight so that'll probably be the next big part in this vlog because I've got lots to do and not much time to do it I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as to. Okay, we both just finished our work day, sort of. I have not. A few things we gotta finish up. Anyway, we are about to head over to the apartment to go grab all of our stuff um, that's left there, groceries, and then a few like little random things that we left. And I haven't seen it empty, so I feel like it's gonna be a really sad moment for me. But I think on the way there, we're gonna grab a quick dinner because we still don't have groceries. Bring all of our groceries back and hopefully feel a little bit more settled in. Guys, I'm looking at our empty apartment. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so sad. Oh my gosh. <gasps> our room. It's so empty. I'll take that. The apartment's empty. We're heading out. So sad. Okay, how do you feel? Do you want these tonight? Sure, do it. Yeah. I don't care. Do it. Woo! -hoo! We have ice cream. Making cookies. Okay, we just put everything away and I'm gonna make some cookies. We're gonna end the night with Survivor and just have a relaxing night because we have had quite the busy day and we just wanna chill.
morning and happy Thursday. So I'm actually going to end the vlog here. I know it's a little short, but I've been filming every single day for the past almost two weeks. And I'm also vlogging this whole weekend starting tomorrow. So I think I'm just gonna take today to take a break from like the constant filming. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to follow along on our little journey here in this house. And we love you guys and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.